Welcome once again to a new episode of Women on Fire. Dear beloved, last week we were talking about doing justice. We were talking about God being the judge of all. We're talking about if there's going to be justice, there's got to be a court of justice. And as it is a court of justice in this earth, there is one in heaven. So we are going to enter in again into this conversation of doing justice. And we were talking last time about uh, parents sometimes not being very just towards their children, not doing justice to their children, and sometimes children not doing justice to their parents. And the last thing of the topic last week was that the Lord telling us to do justice with the strangers. Mm -hmm. And because we were talking about teenagers and how teenagers friends and the things that they might do that doesn't please us, mm -hmm. God was actually, I felt God was talking to us mm -hmm. about being just to the friends of our children. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean we had to accept drugs and what not no. things into the household, but we can accept them. Yes. Mm. yes, yes. We can accept them and welcome them in our house and cause them to know that our house is like a refuge, yeah. but no monkey business in our house. Yes. Well, it just comes to me that uh, uh, we must look at it, you know, not uh, outside, not what they have, know what they come from, but as a person, because the child belongs to God and every human being, Jesus Christ dies for him. So that is our yes. motivation should be yes. to see the person, yes. not what, how they are or what they have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm guilty of the same action sometimes, even though my children are 20 something now. but. Um, uh, it reminded me, yeah, the Bible actually has a verse in here in Jeremiah. I use it as a reminder to myself. And it says, um, 7, chapter 7, verse 5, it says, If, for, if you thoroughly amend your ways mm. and your doings, if you thoroughly execute judgment between a man and a neighbor, if you do not oppress the stranger, and these friends are might look different to you, but they are in some ways strangers yeah. because you don't agree with them. Mm. The fatherless, yes. you know, they might come from a home that hasn't got yes. that fatherly yes. figure, yes, right? Yes. And um, what is it, the widow? They might be a single mom, you know, mm. things like that. Or and they do not shed blood in this place or walk after other gods to hurt. So I always remember now. We have to extend and be Christ-like, extend the love of Christ. Mm -hmm. And I talk that earlier on, we talk about you know uh, grace and mercy. I think with love, it's easy to say I love you, mm -hmm. but with that, I think mm -hmm. we also God say give it a bit more grace mm -hmm. and mercy. Now, what does grace and mercy mean to me? Is when I say I love you and I give you that grace and mercy, simply mm -hmm. say I give you the extra benefit of a doubt. I'm giving you that time. Mm. to see changes in mm. you and I allow myself to be molded by God and see you from a mm. different perspective yes. and that's how I see it you know giving the benefit of the doubts but at the same time trusting the Lord would maneuver the circumstances to bring it to better yes yes amen amen, amen. Well, there is another way in Jeremiah when mm. uh, God is sending Jeremiah to the church mm. and in what the church mm. is doing. Mm. So it, I would like to read it to please, you. Please, 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 please read to us. Jeremiah, what is it, Jeremiah? Jeremiah 7. Oh, let me look for it. It says, Behold, you trust in deceptive words to no avail. Will you still murder? commit adultery, swear falsely, make offerings to Baal, and go after other gods that you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, we are delivered. Only to go and do all these abominations, has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, I myself have seen it, declares the Lord. Wow, mm, yeah. what a word mm -hmm. to be uh, spoken, yeah. you know, the Lord yes. is speaking to the church. 
And, and it was happening, and it was happening. That, that's why. That's right. And do you believe it's happening now in some sectors of the body of Christ? I think so. Yeah. I think so. It does. Mm. But it's very possible because, you know, here he's saying you are uh, be committing adultery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's been many Let's cases. face it, in the body of Christ, there is. Mm. been going on this, yeah. mm. it is time to stop. Yes. Because God is exposing it. This mm. is a scripture God Jeremiah many years ago. Yeah. But how does it apply to us? Mm. Is there any, any um, adultery oh, in yes. the midst of us in the church? Mm. I think there is. I'm nobody to judge yeah. mm. people. Mm. Mm. But we are called by God mm. to judge the actions. Mm. That's right. Yes. And adultery mm. is not permissible. Yes. It's not acceptable. No. We cannot close the eyes to adultery. No. no. Can we? Mm. Fornication. What about fornication? Mm. Yeah. We must what is fornication? Adjusting. Just in case, it, you know, we don't understand what it is. Mm. And the homosexuality too. Homosexuality. Mm. Having sexual gratification of whatever kind mm. outside mm. of the marriage mm. of yes. a man, of a woman, yes. is an abomination before yes. God. Yes. In other words, makes the Lord's stomach sick. Mm. To want to vomit, that's what I call abomination. Yeah. Yes. And, and why? Because it's to our detriment. It defiles yes. our body. Oh, and we become a smelly. Yes. We become really smelly. Tell me what angel would want to be around a smelly believer? <laughs> they will go, Ugh. Mm. And the moment they go, Ugh, the devil is ready with an arrow. Puma. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Then we complain things go wrong in our lives. Mm, yeah. That doesn't mean it's happening to every Christian. Mm, but we need to expose what we need yes. to expose. The prophetic voice of God mm. is, is, is inspired in Jeremiah. Yes. And God is talking to the church today. Mm. If we are going to make it in the last days, if we are going to be able to be a, a warrior bride, if we have to be ready like a bride, we cannot keep on going mm. like this. Going to church, mm. every, everything will be right. Mm. Sorry, Lord, I'm delivered, I'm set free, I worship, and this and that. But Monday, I go back again to the same mud. Mm. That's not it. Mm. No. When we come to church, we make the decision of repentance. Repentance is no remorse. Mm. Yes. It's not, I am so sorry I'm doing this. Mm. But you are so gracious. You understand my situation. <laughs> oh, yes, you know, I started and now I'm caught up in this adultery or this fornication or this lesbianism or this homosexuality. Oh, but you're good. Your grace is sufficient for me. Have you ever heard this? Mm. I have heard this. Mm. But the correction of God is, yes, the grace of God is sufficient for us mm. to say no to sin. Yes, yes. yes. Hallelujah. 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 And that's why it's grace. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, surely you have had experiences you, you, you are women of God who have been involved in serving God in the church and, and uh, even counseling. What are your experience that can uh, encourage people, even ladies involved in these kind of things, even uh, married people involved in this kind of thing? What's your encouragement? What, what is your word for them regarding justice, doing justice? I think recently I have um, friends that I know for the last 20 odd years. Yeah. They are not believers and oh. one of the children actually, uh, a girl, got into a same-sex relationship. Oh. My heart is... Oh. Okay. Mm. Oh. And the other one is a brother. He's been living as a lesbian for a long time. Oh. I thought that is just trying to tell her, I say, that's the love of God for you, you know, mm -hmm. just tell them about that. You can come back into the presence of God because through Jesus Christ, you bring you back mm 
mm. a new life so you can have renew mm. you know your mm. life mm. um i'm sad to say that um, they're still rejecting it i mean the situation like that mm. you know what can you do i mean i, I can only pray for them I look at it, but this is this is very real into this situation. Every corner you turn to now, they're more um, mm. what do you call it? make it more acceptable, even in the the system and the society. A law. Yes. This is what I'm worried about. You know, the law is seems to steer that way, and we're talking about embracing, and this is not embracing. This is not called tolerance. Mm. These are called wrong. Yeah. Wrong. This is not what God wants. This is yeah. not what God yeah. intends to yes. do. You have, we have, as Christians, got to rise up, mm. you know, as, as as people who mm. knows the word of God, who walks in the word of God, mm. to go out and say, no, yeah. this is not right, right? Wake up, because like you say, you're not only defile, you defile your body, and you just make God such a Mm. Should I say a joke? I mean, God created us in perfect image. How does we reflect in our life? Now, for people who don't know God, okay, it's our job, right? It's our um, command, our, what I call mission to tell them about God. But for us to know the word of God, we have to hang in there. We say, no, no, like you say, wake up. Wake up. Right? We could bring them back into the fold and again present our case to the Lord and say, Lord, these are the people. We are, it's, it's also us to come together as Christians to bring down heaven. Go up, they say, go up and to bring heaven down. This is what God can offer mm. to those who are sinning. It's possible, yes. Mm. Yes, yes. Well, uh, regarding this situation, I was. Uh, like in your case, I was exposed to a situation of a young lady, beautiful young lady, involved in a same-sex relationship. Mm. And uh, so blinded by the whole thing, mm. you know. So, huh, mom and dad crying out, mm. you know. But the grace of God exposed the evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when the evil of that relationship was exposed. Mm. The little girl was crushed because even that hope she had in this illicit relationship, you know, wanting to be loved, looking for real love, and, and when uh, found what it seemed to be the real love, it was evil. Yes. Mm -hmm. But blinded to this evil mm. until God opened the eyes of this little girl. Mm. Yes. The mm. tears and the prayers of a mother and father. Mm. And this one was broken. And when this took place, when I saw that, I was called. Mm. And um, I got together with a girl in a, in a room separately, you know, alone. Mm. I asked mom and dad if they would trust. And I asked, you know, that I wanted to be alone with this girl. Mm. And we had a long talk. Mm. And I was just as desperate as this girl for God saying what He wanted to say to this girl. Mm. Because he was a little heart who was crushed by evil mm. because wanted to be loved and didn't find love where they mm. think they should. Mm. So it is very dangerous thing. How do you do justice mm. in a case like this? Mm. Our call is to do justice, mm. to deliver the oppressed and the one robbed. She was robbed of her innocence, robbed of so many things. How to do justice? Mm -hmm. By God in His grace and mercy, expose the injustice. Mm and brought justice. Mm. And this little girl, step by step, mm. went back into the fullness. And she became a full, so passionate for Jesus. Oh. She found the true love. Oh. She found 
Yeshua. Mm-hmm. She found the lover of her soul that would never leave her, that would never forsake her. Yes. And I was amazed because the Lord did justice. Mm-hmm. He delivered this little girl from the hands of the evil one mm-hmm. by exposing mm-hmm. the evil one. I, I was, mm-hmm. I was just a witness of what he was doing. Mm. You know, I can credit myself for nothing. Mm. So I believe that in this testimony we realize that our job as believers is to do justice for those that have been robbed, Mm. for those that have been deceived, Mm. for those that have been oppressed. Mm. But how? Mm. Not in our own strength, not with our own reasoning, no. Certainly with our own emotions and carnality that might reject the looks on the outside. Mm. That mm. should not be part of the church. Mm. The church must rise up, wake up, mm. and start doing justice. Mm. Mm. Because allowing these things in the midst of those that are wanting to live a holy life mm. is injustice. Mm. Yes. Because it pollutes the mind of other people by them seeing this is happening in church mm-hmm. and this person is doing, don't they? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. God say do justice. Yes. It's our job to do justice. Yes. Amen. Well, uh, uh, I have something to say there. Yes, that, um, yes. Um, Well, the Lord says, you know, that uh, we must go approach with much love to the yes. person who's doing, yes. and um, and warn them with the, what the Lord's wise, and and uh, because we are interceding, God God does the difference. Yes. God finishes yes. the problem. That is our approach should be, you know, um, assured that the God is the one who is going to intervene, Amen. but we interceding on behalf of person mm-hmm. and the justice will come God will do the justice and that's the way I am um, I will uh, approach amen you know? amen yeah. that's that is wonderful a scripture comes to mind we're close to the end but um, I, I feel moved to, to finish this with a particular scripture that in Isaiah 1 18 20 and he says learn to do good mm-hmm. <laughs> seek justice so not only just for ourselves, but for others. Seek justice. <clears throat> Correct oppression. If you find that somebody is using the authority of God to oppress people, you need to bring that correction yeah. with love. Yes. Bring justice to the fatherless. You don't have to be an orphan with mommy or daddy dying. You could be an orphan with your parents alive. Yes, yes. No and some of you, some, some of us have experienced this. Mm-hmm. Yes, Nelly. Yeah, the, that happens when there is no communication, you know, yes. with the parents and children. So they, they look for a friend in a neighbor or someone, somewhere else, yes. some, uh, someone who can hear them. Yes. Yeah. And yes. this is very uh, That's right. dangerous. That's right. Mm. And he keeps on saying, plead the widow's cause. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like a scarlet, I believe God is talking now to the body of Christ mm. that has allowed all this. Mm. All of us, yes. all of us need to hear this. Mm. They shall be as white as snow, not for for the body of Christ that has allowed, but also for the body of Christ that is actually doing it, Mm -hmm. for the members of the body of Christ. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. Mm -hmm. If you are willing (laughs) and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. And there is no greater love than the love of God. Mm -hmm. Who is willing to say, put behind the past, put behind the sin, put behind the scarlet colors, come, let me make you white and snow. Mm -hmm. Don't do this again. Mm -hmm. He said to the harlot, Yes, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. Mm -hmm. 
and our God, who is God He Himself, mm. and who has created us mm. to have fellowship yes. in love, you know. Yes. Yes. And this love is for everyone. Yes. This love is available for everyone yeah, who desire That's and who right. are asking you if you are true God. Mm. And I want to know what this love is, mm. and this love will will come in everyone's heart. Amen. 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 Yeah. And those who know the love of Jesus Christ, and there's a scripture in the Psalm. In a, I'll like to bring this one. Okay. Psalm 82, 3, 5. Yes. And give justice to the weak and to the fatherless. Maintain the right of the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the weak and the needy and deliver them from the hand of wicked. Only love Amen. and mercy Amen. and deliver them Amen. from the wicked hand. Amen. Yes. Amen. And I believe the Lord is talking through you, through the scriptures and through all this, that this, by the way, is not something that we pre prepare. We are just allowing God to speak and to, to go through the scriptures. I really believe that God is talking to some pastors, mm -hmm. to some lady leaders. Mm -hmm. Allow the Lord to make you an instrument mm -hmm. of justice. Mm -hmm. Amen. Shall we pray? Yes. Dear loving Father, your word had gone forth, Lord. Let it be written and let it be executed by your angels in the heart of everyone that have heard these words. Let the fire of your word burn deeply, Lord, and consume all that is not from you. I see right now Hebrew words being written in the hearts of people. They are like fire. It's as if the Holy Spirit is writing with the finger of God words in the hearts of people. Lord, let justice and truth be written in the tablets of our minds and hearts. Forgive us, Lord, for the much compromise we have done against your word, the injustice against your truth, your word, your love, Lord, by compromising with the world, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord, that a great wind of your Holy Spirit will cause our knees to bow and know that you are a righteous and just God. We have done injustice, Lord. I pray that your precious blood will cleanse the hearts of everyone that by these words are now confessing and repenting before your sight, Lord. Let your word now cleanse and sanctify by your blood, Lord, every heart. And I pray, Lord, that you will grant power and strength and grace to everyone who has repented before you in the court of God the grace to walk in your righteousness, uncompromising from this day forward, Lord. That all your people that are called by your name be delivered and made ready for these last days. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us.
until we meet again, may the Lord God bless you.